Hello friends, today we are gonna take a look at Dehancer plugin, which is a film emulation plugin for cinematic shots and renders. The main purpose of the plugin is making your renders and camera shots look more filmic and cinematic. I rendered the cinematic shot in Unreal Engine 5, as you can see on the screen, to use as a sample for this video. And this is the before and after comparison. We are gonna try to make this shot look more filmic on DaVinci Resolve by using Dehancer Pro. So thanks to Team Dehancer for giving me the license. If you like and wanna buy Dehancer, don't forget to use my code for 10% discount. And also Dehancer supports many other video and photo editing softwares as you can see on the screen if you want to use. So here we are on DaVinci Resolve and let's just start by dragging our Dehancer Pro plugin onto our clip. And don't forget to click this button to see the effects. And you can find this all the way down here under film emulation. You just have to drag it on the clip. So here we have a lot of adjustable settings here. I'm not gonna use all of them, but I will try to explain them to you as much as I can. Color grading process is done. Let's see the final results. This is before and this is the after. So let's take a look at what I did with the settings. First of all, I slightly decreased my exposure and temperature to make my scene a little bit darker and colder. Here I adjusting my contrast and I don't think I need any contrast adjustment. It's fine by default. And then I added a film profile which makes my render look more filmic and out of a movie. And I guess it's one of my favorite things about the Hanser. I don't need to use film compression for my shot. It's used for increasing or decreasing the bright area and light source brightness. We don't have any problem with the brightness, so I'm not gonna use it. These black point and white point values also help you to adjust the overall brightness of your scene. I think the print film is one of the key things for my render, so I enabled it. It adds my scene those cinematic colors and exposure. And I enabled the film grain because I like the look of the film grain and I think it gives a lot of filmic look to my render. I really like the red outline from the halation and the glow from the bloom effect, so I enabled both of them. I'm not gonna enable the film damage effect, but I just want to show you guys how it looks. I think it makes the clip look old and filmic. And we finish the color grading with the vignette effect. So this is it for this video, hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.